Hello everyone, my name is Saksham Dikshit and this is my channel Pentest Diaries. So once again, I'll just come with one of the retire machine of Hack the Box write up and the name of the machine is Quest. In this machine, we are starting with uh, NFS port itself and reach to the user flag, then reach to the final root flag itself. Multiple techniques, I'll try to use it in between of it, even keypass is not working over there with the older version. So, couple of things I'll try to cover in this video itself. So, let me go to the machine now and showcase you how to do the, how to solve this machine. So, in this machine, we just start with the nmap first. So. As like always, we simply have to run the command 10 and map hyphen a and then IP address is 10.10.11.191. .10 we'll just wait for the output. So as we can see that um, we can get the output over here and port 22, port 80, triple one and I can see 2049 at the port is get it enabled over here. Okay, so what's the next step for it? So I can simply say that um, I'll try to attempt for uh, mounting it as I can see the RFS port we enabled over here. So I'll just simply have to run the show mount command just to see what are the type, what are the directories we can mount it over here. And uh, these are the one we can able to see on our screen. Okay. So now what is the next step for it? So now what we have to do, I have already created um, one of the folder. Let me see that whether it's all is still be there or not. If it's not there, then I'll try to create it. Let me see that. Uh, okay, it's already there. So let me delete this. And Okay, so I think uh, it's not we are not having much permission over here. That's the reason behind it. Okay, let it be no problem. So what we have to do, we simply have to like, uh, there is a command which you have to run it as on your system, it's not created. So you simply have to run this command first. So by this way, you are creating two folders, one with www and one with home underscore test. Okay, these two folders, you are creating it. Once you create this, it's already created on my system as I've already tested that. So now what's the next step for it? You simply have to fire this command. So over here, you simply have to put it this NFS and this IP address from where you have to copy that content. And these are the uh, directory which you have seen it already. So two directories are present in NFS. So one directory home ROS, I just tried to get it mounted in home test. Okay, let me click on it and I think it's it will be mounted. It's mounted now. Now I'll just go for the another directory also. Or I can call it as a drive. So this is the one which is also be get it mounted. And I'll click on it and it's mounted now. Is denied while the mounting server okay I think uh, some problem is there I will just try with www and so again I think it's already be there itself the server is not bit stable let me see whether it's stable now or not okay it's look like it's stable try to mount otherwise I think it may be the possibility it's already be mounted over there okay let it be. We'll try to get it C once again. Okay. We are already over here itself. Hyphen L is one of the thing we just try to see. These are the two folders which for which we have to see it. Now there is a command. I'll just run it uh, tree, which I'll just run it just to see the structure of the whole directory and instead of any files is there or not. So everything we can see it from by this way. Okay. We'll just wait for few seconds and we can get the full output for it. You can able to see lot of things inside of it okay now what we have to do next uh, we simply have to go for uh, www also so so that we can able to see so now I'll just run this one and I can able to see what I'm looking for it okay now what we have to do we'll just try to access uh, this one also but it's access denied so unfortunately what i have to do i have already created one of the user 
but there is there are the command i'll just provide in the write up you have to run those command straight forward and by that way you can able to uh, make that stuff running for you so this is the first command over here it's a straight forward you have to create a user over here then you have to provide the group id and user id everything with that permissions for it so i've created the user with the sam name okay i have already created so there is no need to run it again and again then i'll just run this command to provide the user permissions for it okay which i have already provided in my case now you have to uh, run for the group id so this is a command for the group id for the same user once you done with all these commands you simply have to type id sam and you can able to see it okay so 2017 is one of the permissions we are providing for the group id and user id also now what we have to do we simply have to switch user so before proceeding further with that uh, let me make one listener as we are reached to that point where we can get the river share in some time so for that only we just have to start one listener now what i have to do i'll simply have to sue sam so i can able to switch user to my sam user i'll just click on sam and then that's done now what is the next thing now i'll just try to create shell.php so user echo command will just try to create that and that is created inside of www and slash shell.php so this is created in the uh, drive which we have mounted on our system okay so it's not created on our base machine so once we click on it it's created now what is the next step we simply have to run this command so using that as it's already be present over there itself as we have already created that file so it's already present over there we simply have to put our command to get the reverse shell out of it i have already put it the ip address and the port number for which we are listening and simply have to click on it once we click on it we get the shell so this is a first shell a user level shell which we are getting it which we call it as a alex now what i have to do i simply have to go to the home folder and now i'll just go to the alex folder and over here i can able to see user.txt file okay that was a first thing which we were looking for it once we done with this now once again i'm going back to my uh, system once again with i can say that uh, base machine once again and i'll go to the temp folder and now going to the home underscore test folder and now i'll just simply run tree we just wait for the output so after running the command i can able to see the result and there is one of the file which i can see password.kdbx okay so keypass is one of the software which we can use it to get it uh, get the content out of this file so what i'll do i'll simply have to go to uh, document once again this have to come out of it okay so over here i simply have to go to the documents that's it and now what i'll do i'll just try to copy this content to download folder okay to my local directory as it's already done now what i'll do i'll just go to the download folder and try to get see that and i can able to see okay but now what we have to do we'll try to get it open this file just to key pass to john using the software uh, okay sorry so this is the error we're supposed to get it it's showing that the file version 40000 is currently not supported so either that uh, the file is created with the older version and we don't have that version right now so uh, leave this direction and we have to move to the another one so however uh, other than this file we also see the uh, .x authority file is also present over there for the ros there are two folders present over here other than alex we have the ros also one of the user okay so that was i'm talking about so ros in case of ros when we trying to get it mounted over here itself and at that time we can able to see the x authority also so what we'll do we'll simply have to run w first 
and we can able to see this. Okay. Now what we have to do on our base machine, once again, going back to our base machine and now we'll try to create one U user, which is test two. I have already created on my base machine, so I'm not creating it once again. You have to create that with any name. I'll just make it a name as test two. You can make it with any name. Test two is one of the thing. Now you have to change the user mode. So user mode, I'm just giving it is as a 1001. Okay. Once you've done with that, these commands, I'm not running it as I, it's already created on my machine. So I'm not creating it once again. Now it's already created. Now I'll simply have to <coughs> test to switch user and I can able to go ahead and I can able to see the test too. Okay. So now what we have to do now, we have to go back one step behind and now I'll just try to see. So I can able to see this. Okay. Perfect. So what we have to do now, we simply have to copy this to our, we just have to run the Python server over here and just copy that to the Alex. So the ROS X authority, we try to get it copied to Alex. So how we can do that Python three, I'll just run with uh, Python three HTTP dot server then 8080, right? Oh, sorry. So I just have to run with this command hyphen M. I have just missed it. Okay. We run this now it's running. Now we have to go to the Alex and we'll simply have to try to import this. So I'll just go over here, try to get it import this and this is done. Okay. This one is copied now. And even you can see it over here that we get the hit also on our base machine. Once we're done with this, now what we have to do, let uh, we, as we can see that uh, um, we have just copied that. So now there is one of the command XDP in PY info, uh, just to see the extreme uh, X stream one, we can able to see the screen for it or capturing or displaying the screen. Okay. So I'll just run this command. So I'm getting the error. Just give me a minute. So I'm as, I'm as I'm getting the error over here. So that was uh, one of the thing which I'll supposed to do one more command over here itself. We see we simply have to run the ENV just to see the environment first. Okay. As I can see that environment and on the basis of that, I'll just run one more command over here itself. You can see. This is the command, a primary one just to see that output. Now after that, I'll simply have to run one more command. Just getting that. My screen is stuck in between of it. So that was the reason it's not going down. Okay, over here, once again, we can see the Alex, uh, I'm not able to find that thing, which is one of the thing which I want to show you. Okay, so there is one of the command, I'll just put it that on a chat. Over here. Okay, so this one command, I'm look, I'm, I just want to convey to you. Okay, so this is the one. Let me go down to the bottom. So this we have to get it added in the environment. Once we run with that and we have to run the env once again, we can able to see that it's already added. Now what we have to do, we'll simply have to run the same x xdpy info command. And this is for extra uh, x screen one. We can able to see with this live feed activity. We can able to see and I can able to see this content out. Okay. This is also uh, another command is x win info. This is also for the same thing to get a display appropriately for the tree format. Once we're done with that, so what exactly is it? Let's take the screenshot and transfer it to the local machine. Like whatever the activity over, over here, it's happening with that. You can able to figure out there is a, 
there is a key pass is using over here itself so just to get it captured that what i'll do i'll simply have to run this command and make it a screenshot so we are not taking the screenshot uh, uh, through that gui base we are taking it through the command line of the server itself which we are don't have the gui of the target server that's the reason behind it so we simply have to run this command and by this way i can able to take a screenshot i can able to see the extension of the file also so let me see that and i can able to see that xdump okay now what we have to do i'll simply have to go to another one and i'll just make it a listener first so that i can able to get that file so i'll just make it as a listener okay and now what i have to do i'll just uh, run this command on my control setup where i'm just getting the control of the reverse shell okay so i'll just run this i'll just simply copy using the nc i'll try to copy this file to my local machine so it's already running i'll simply run this once we run with that i can able to get that on my machine okay i hope this will done the work okay it's done now what we have to do as it's not um, viewable for us so we simply have to convert this file i'll try to convert this file to screen.png and now i'll simply have to go to the folder and uh, screen.png have to open and i can able to see the password so this is a root password okay so what i'll do i'll just go back to the terminal once again and now I'll simply have to type root su root and I'll copy the password I'll already put it in on my chat itself so I'll just copy that paste it over here and I'll be a root now I can go inside of the root folder and I can able to see the root flag okay so these are the things now I'll just make it a summary once again for you with the full description of it so initially we started with this machine to get that port port 22 and uh, port 80 and port 111204 and we start with the nfs port once we see the like, two drives are over here so we just try to get it mounted on our local machine once we mounted that we'll try to run the tree and just try to see the structure of it uh, we'll see the permissions and we'll try to create one of the uh, one of the file over here one of the user will try to create over there itself with that we'll try to create a php shell uh we'll put it on a drive itself and try to get it execute from the server side itself just get the shell we get the shell as alex uh we can able to see the user flag and once we done with that we'll just proceed it further as i'm not seeing the any progress on the top of that so uh by that way i'll see one of the things to be like uh, possibilities um, there is one i had run the tree command in the drive itself i just see that there is a password kd uh, file is over present over there itself once we try to get it uh, extracted the content out of using the key pass but i'm not able as the version which is utilized for that file is a older version so that's a reason behind it i'll proceed it further with that uh not running those things again and again and uh, i'll i have identified one of more thing is x x authority also so as we can see that x authority one so we just try to use the x authority uh as of the ros we already have it we try to get it copy to the alex and using that we'll try to run it we'll just get it downloaded that on our alex section uh, setup and then by that way we'll try to create the user once again over here once again as a test to user then proceeding further with the alex one we'll try to see um x screen commands few commands is over there itself we just try to run that and by that we'll try to take a screenshot of it try to get it copy that screenshot to our base machine open it we can able to get the root password and using that same password we just try to switch over from our normal user to the root user and we can get the root flag finally that's all about in this machine Thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel if you like to connect me you can connect me on linkedin a linkedin profile link i'll provide in the description section of this video and if you want to provide some feedback you can provide your feedback in the comment section of this video so thank you so much once again take care bye bye and even the write up of this video you can get it on my technical blog channel and i can say that um, on my sakshamdeshit.com is uh, one of the technical blog where i'm just putting all the write ups for myself you can get it from there thank you so much once again take care bye bye